when we had last left, the Chosen One. Their adventures around the NCR continued, this time leading them to stopping a violent police officer from attempting to blow up the town's super electric generator. They stopped them by shredding them to pieces with heavy firepower, and also checking in with the rangers of the NCR, who asked for few slavers to be dealt with. And so the Chosen One answered by tearing them apart to pieces with some heavy firepower. And then they beat the hell out of some guy at a cantina. Now it was time to go check in with the rangers and see what else awaits. This is Fallout 2. Welcome back. Let's do it. Let's head on over. And also, in between videos, as I said I would, I went and did some inventory management, cleared out all their junk here, right? Got all that dealt with. Sold off either here to the Guns Bazaar or whatever you want to call it, and the rest stashed inside the car for future selling times. All right, head on over here. Oh, and of course, uh, bought a whole bunch more ammo. Bought out all of the 223 that we could, as well as... I pulled out all of it from the car trunk, just in case, right? Because, holy shit, we evidently fly through it now. Now, also, I did finally buy... I thought I had bought it before, but this time, 100% for sure, I got the expanded lockpick set. Right? A set of locksmith tools includes all the necessary picks and tension wrenches to open conventional pin and tumbler locks. This set also includes some special tools for more difficult mechanical locking mechanisms. All right, let's head on over. Wait, who is this? Oh, it's the same drunk I saw last time. You drifters are all alike. This is a peaceful town. That means we don't need you toting hardware. Put your weapons away and there will be no trouble. Oh, we're right, Cassidy. My bad. Okay, talk about your gear. Put your weapon away. That's it for now. Alright, let's head on in. Cool. And the rangers are way back this way, right? Here's a question. What would have happened if... Because we had almost done this. We almost did this exactly. What would happen if immediately upon entering the, like, map... I gunned down the slavers without getting the quest from the rangers first. Would there be, like, reactivity from them? They'd be like, oh, cool, wow. All right, you went above and beyond. Okay, you're in. Or would it have, like... Would it have screwed up their quest arc or whatever we're about to get into? I'm, I'm assuming there will be at least one follow-up quest or something. But would it have screwed it up to where we could not have joined them? Like, did I do right by deciding to put that off or was it like completely unnecessary i don't know all right hey elise i've heard the news already you freed the slaves good work so you ready to become a ranger yes do you swear to fight slavery whenever the opportunity arises and to help your fellow rangers whenever they're in need wow so in in this, yeah, they are one and the same, right? They're, um... It's the same organization, just changed over time. But... Th here, they're just, like, openly... And al almost exclusively... An abolitionist organization. That is wild. Huh. Which makes it almost tragic. I can't remember exactly how it played out in New Vegas... Right, but obviously they got partially absorbed by the New California Republic. Right, they're like, um, they got conscripted effectively into the NCR army, you know? Which is a very peculiar thing, because, like, obviously they would want to bring the fight to Caesar's Legion, right? Obviously, under this same, like, um, I don't know belief system, the same dogma, the Rangers would still want to fight Caesar's Legion because Caesar's Legion uses slavery, right? They do all sorts of fucked up shit. 
<laughs> they enslave people. It's fucked. So, by that, by that logic, of course they would want to do this. They would want to take the fight to them. But also, aren't they in, in some sense, now a, an operating arm, a division, if you will, of the NCR military? Right? Can't they also, like, after this, after the conflict there, the NCR Rangers, right? The, the Rangers who are in the Mojave, they would either be sent elsewhere to do other NCR shit, or, I don't know, just uphold business as usual in that area. Which, man, feels really rough, but feels like... If that is the case, that feels like the absolute perfect um, critique of, I don't know, the sort of, the sort of like governmental liberalism going on with the NCR, you know, with all the like chock full of bureaucracy and various inefficiencies and stuff, right? And it, like we said before with, um, yeah, they don't allow slavery and stuff in NCR, but they'll allow it, like, a few hundred feet away from the fucking entry to the town, and they'll do business with the slavers, <laughs> right? That, that sort of, uh, that sort of issue. Hmm. I feel like there, there's really juicy stuff that could be told there, you know, if you wanted to have that, that sort of ranger perspective continuing. Anyway, anyway, yeah, yeah, I'm ready, I'm down to clown. Congratulations! You're now a ranger. Okay. Damn, we got 3k XP. Okay, I'll take it. So, do I need- can I do something else here? Well met, fellow ranger. Afraid there's not much for you to do around here at this time. Most of our people are already out in patrol. I'll spread the word that you're one of us now. I wouldn't want you getting shot by one of us. Okay. I mean- <laughs> Shit, do I look like a slaver otherwise? Here's a question. Is there a way at all for you to get in with them if you are a slaver? Right? If you got the slaver's tattoo literally across your forehead? Is there a way to get in? Or, or are you hard locked? Or is there also like a similarly drastic measure you can take to get in? I wonder. All right. What's up with you? A ranger's work is never done. How about you? We have access back here. I need to hunt some more slavers. Fuck yeah. Holy shit, the rangers fucking kick ass, dude. Holy hell. I had no idea they were like this in Fallout 2. Like, I knew that they, they were either in, in 1 or 2. I definitely knew that from my time playing uh, New Vegas and, you know, looking through wikis, right? It's how I knew about them having some rough connective tissue to the Rangers of Wasteland 1. But I, kn I had no idea that they were so, like, expressly a, like, group of abolitionists. Okay. Man, it's like uh, the Morrowind Twin Lamps all over again, huh? Rangers map. A map of the surrounding area. It won't help you much, but there are code names on it for the ranger safe houses in the north. Oh, really? Oh, shit, we got a ranger pin! Oh, fuck yeah! Okay. This pin says you're an official New California ranger. Look! It's got a code wheel and everything. It weighs one pound. So they do call themselves New California rangers, right? Though not expressly New California Republic Rangers. Interesting. But yeah, there, it definitely feels as if there's more distinction between them. Like they aren't an official arm of government. Or arm of the, the government's military or whatever. Hmm. Okay. Anything in here? Nothing. Let's hit up a quick save. Nope, nothing there. Alright. Can we open this? Oh, we can. Oh my gosh, what a science fiction noise. Anything here? No, oh, this just leads back out. So did I look through everything inside? I think I did, but let's 
take a quick peek, yeah. We 100 percent did. Okay. Are there any other buildings I need to check? We went up to the Brotherhood building. This is where Dorothy was. I think that was her name was Dorothy, right? Maybe I'm just making that up. Okay. Over here. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. Some folks wrote in with some really, like, helpful ways of remembering uh, the whole Wizard of Oz situation. Folks, I gotta tell you, <laughs> now that's gonna help me, because I've never seen the Wizard of fucking Oz. <laughs> I've never seen it. I, I know about it. I know, like, the gist of it through just, like, general cultural osmosis. But I ain't ever fucking seen it. Like, it's a seminal classic. I know, like, oh, the Wicked Witch of the West. And then the Maleficent spinoff and all that. And, like, oh, the tornado clipping the slippers, the ruby slippers together. Shit like that. I know all about that shit. You know? And they're, the like, traveling companions. And then everyone's obsessed with saying, like, did you know New Vegas is, like, the Wizard of Oz? People saying shit like that. Um, I know all that. But that's all just via cultural osmosis. I don't, I don't actually <laughs> never fucking see it myself. All right. Can you heal me up, Doc? You're kidding. Don't cut off my limb, please. I just want regular healing. Okay. Just heal me, please. 50 bucks. There we go. There you are, Sonny. Thanks, Doc. Maybe you can help me out with some answers. What can I do for you? Know where I could find Vault 13? You actually say different things after getting- after healing me. I ain't heard that mentioned since old salt beef was brought in here. Sunstroke. Burn with fever for three days. All the time ranting how he'd found Vault 13. His mother load. Mother load? The big one. Salt beef's an old uranium prospector. More accurately, a drunk. Lives out the Western spread these days. Another question. I'm looking for a job, know of any? You best go talk to President Tandy. I've heard she's looking for a special type of person. Alright, thanks. Actually, do you want to put no, okay, never mind. Does he heal up our follower as well when we do that? No. Okay. Alright. Well, what can you do? Let's hit up a quick save. And next part of town. Oh my gosh. You see statue. Is it... Is this us from the first game? I bet this is us. Oh yeah. Yeah, look. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, right. I think I've read about this statue before on uh, a Fallout wiki or whatever. Right? This is the statue that canonically makes it... Uh, that your character was the male choice, right? In Fallout 1? Because Fallout 1, I think, is the only Fallout game where your character is canonically gendered in some way or another, right? I think so. I can't remember if... No, I think so. Yeah, I think that's the case. All right. There's a plaque at the base. It reads, To the Stranger and Vault 13. What doesn't exist, we must sometimes dream and let our dreams inspire us to greater heights. So it was with a stranger and his belief in the legend of Vault 13. Wait, what? Oh, because they never believed that they were from... Is that it? The whole time, because I remember when we came here, they... We either didn't tell them or they were, they thought that we were a weirdo for saying that we were from Vault 13. So it just got like, mythologized? Oh, that's wild. Oh, holy shit. Look at this important looking building. Okay. <laughs> Look, you can tell it's an important building because it's got a little grass island and the way it's got this like U shape when you enter, you know? All fancy buildings have that going on. Okay, well. Anything else here or just that? Oh, wow, look, the flag is animated. You see NCR flag. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Look. There's some cops here we could rob. Do you think we can get away with it? I've quicksave. We'll give it a shot. They may be too high skill 
level for us to pull it off. Take a stim. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm into that. How about over here? How about this regular townsfolk? Nothing. Oh, what does this say? Hall of Congress sign. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. How about this cop? There we go. Oh, another free stim. Don't mind if I do. Over here. Good. Another free stem. Excellent. I like how they have the same sort of like pose as the mob guys from New Reno, you know? You know, what can you say? The town's biggest uh, group of gangsters, huh? You know? That's what they always say. Alright. Let's check over here. Good. And what's this say? Hall of Congress sign, nothing else. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at this, another person in a tux. It's Gunther, aide to President Tandy. At least, that's what the sign on the door said. Okay, who's this? You see a plain-looking young man in respectable clothing. Okay, is this, is this very respectable clothing? <laughs> He's got the, like, uh... Brown vest with the little blue hat. Sure. There's nothing particularly exceptional about the guy. He looks like the epitome of a budding bureaucrat. Frankly, not too terribly off from, like, modern-day standard business attire, right? There's still a lot of thought around that, like, modern-day business attire is, like, a matching suit or something like that wearing a tie. But that is 100% not the case anymore. It's a fucking, one of those like vests, you know what I'm talking about? Like the Patagonia vest, the like technical vest over like a blue shirt, especially like a blue gingham shirt. You know what I'm talking about? That, that's corporate attire. It's that sort of like loosey goosey business casual. Anyway, what do you have to say, stranger? Welcome to Congress House. How can I help you? I'm here to see President Tandy. Can you help me find Vault 13? Not unless you got a geck. I'm looking for a job. What is this place? You can't. <laughs> uh, what is this place? This is the Congress House, lawmaking body for the NCR. Now what can I do for you? Okay, can you help me find Vault 13? 13 or did you mean 15? I said 13. Well, then, I can't help you with that. Okay, where can I find Vault 13? 15? Oh, nothing. My mistake. You said 13, right? Well, I don't know anything about that. Huh. Now, what can I do for you? Hmm. Weird. What the hell was that about? That was very bizarre. Not unless you got a geck. No. Now, what can I do for you? Okay, uh, I'm here to see President Tandy. Concerning? I heard your president's got a job to be done. Oh, that. Talk to Mr. Gunther in the back. Oh, okay. Can I ask about the... Uh... I'm looking for a job? Now, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a job. That's nice. This isn't a hiring hall. Why don't you try downtown? Okay, yeah about what you would expect. Okay. Can we steal from him, though? We can, but they've got nothing. Anything over here? Oh. A cop that we could probably steal from. Yeah, free stim pack. Hell yes. Okay. Let's pop the door. Speak with Gunther. Let's super inspect. He looks officious and busy. The type born to be a bureaucrat that other folks hate. Alright. Man, look at you. <laughs> Could you imagine a, a politician wearing a tuxedo just normally? Okay. Hey. 
Uh, can I help you? Who are you? I'm here to see President Tandy about a job. Sorry, wrong office. Who are you? My name is Gunther, personal assistant to President Tandy. Now, what can I do for you? I'm searching for Vault 13. I'm looking for the Gek. I understand the president has a job to be done? Absolutely nothing. I'm searching for Vault 13? Madame President no longer grants interviews regarding Vault 13. I'm sorry, she's too busy to see every prospector who comes through. Huh? I don't get it. What about a Gek? She might know something about that? There was some talk about a job. Huh? I don't get it. Then I suggest you read the plaque on the statue outside. Now, good day. Oh, it's a lie. It's all part of a facade. You again? I'm here to see President Tandy about a job. Ah, yes. Well, she's instructed me to send in anyone asking about it. You're buzzed in. It's the door to my right. Okay. Oh, this is Tandy. Okay. Sure. You see an elderly woman, lean and weathered. Can I steal from Gunther? Let's see. Ooh, I can. You steal the presidential pass. Well, don't mind if I fucking do, baby. What is this all about? The bearer of this document is security clearance A prime as authorized by the authority of the president of the new California Republic. It's signed by President Tandy. Oh, awesome. I don't know what this will help us with, but it seems like a great thing to have. Okay. Anything in here? It's just a table, I think. Yeah, how about this room? Nope. Smaller table. I think I can steal from this cop. Perfect. Oh yeah, I can steal from this one too. I'm sure you got a stim pack with my name on it. Okay. Over here. Anything else around here? Doesn't seem to be the case. Okay. Sorry, Pariah Dog. Okay, there we go. Oh, yep, good. Alright, let's quick save before we head in here. I would imagine that Tandy will have a... have voice lines, right? In fact, I'm pretty sure... I'm like 80% sure I've seen... like a screenshot of it before at some point in my life. Okay. Can we steal from Tandy? We can. Good. Okay. How about here in the bookshelf? Nothing. How about over on this one? Nothing. Okay. How about a super inspect? You see a, a tough, self-confident woman. It's clear that she is used to the respect of others. Okay, let's quick save and talk for real. I'm oh, Tandy, president of the NCR. So, you whooped my boy Hoss over at Dusty's. Maybe you're the right man at the right time. Interested in some work? I might be. What's the job? We need some computer parts from our old base, Bolt 15. Problem is there's squatters there won't let anybody buy. Somebody has to convince them to let us in, or just bring back the parts. You up for the job? I forget, what was in Vault 15 at the time? Huh. It was just like mole rats or whatever, right? Or pig rats, was I think they were called, or something like that. Okay. Sorry, this doesn't sound like my line of work. I'd be happy to help you out. I'm interested, but what's the job pay? Okay. What's the job pay? It's all business, huh? Fine. 500 when it's done. I don't haggle, so take it or don't waste my time. I'll take it, but I need some information. Well, I got a little time to spare. Okay. What can you tell me about Vault 15? Why haven't you made a deal with the squatters? 
Do you know where Vault 13 is? I'm looking for a Gek. Would you happen to have one? What can you tell me about New Reno? The Elder tells a story about the Vault Dweller and someone named Tandy. Are you that Tandy? Is this Shadi Sands? The Shadi Sands the Elder speaks of? Uh, that's all for now. I'll be going. Can we just go through all of these and exhaust them all? I feel like we can. What can you tell me about Vault 15? It's just east of here, an underground shelter from the war. Most families in MCR came from it, so it's rightfully ours. Hang on a second. Have we not been inside of a, like, abandoned vault yet? Is the only other vault that we've been inside of the... The Vault City Vault? Oh my god, I, is it true? I feel like it is. We may have only ever been in one vault, and vo that's Vault City. Huh, okay, go on. A couple of years ago, some squatters moved in and built a shantytown on the surface. They call it the Squat. They're nothing but dogs in the manger. They can't get into the vault, but they keep us out. I see. I need to ask you about a few other things. What do you want to know? Why haven't you made a deal with the squatters? I tried. I sent some people down there, but after the first few, they stopped coming back. I can't prove the squatters are responsible, either. My boys managed to capture one of them, but he won't talk. Got him locked up downtown. Oh. Huh. So we don't even know for certain whether or not they're, like, violent in, in a way, right? Like, what if these are just people fucking living there? Okay. A few more questions, please. Get to it. I can't spend the day with you. I'll try what to be quick. Know? Okay. Hmm. The Elder tells a story about the Vault Dweller and someone named Tandy. Are you that Tandy? Lord, that was a long time ago. Hardly remember who I was then. Just a naive girl. The one you call the Vault Dweller. Is he still alive? The Vault Dweller is my ancestor. He lives on. In me. Yes. There's a resemblance. You've got the same fire, too. I was always afraid that he was nothing but a skeleton somewhere in the desert. Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'd like to hear your story. Figures. Well, I was pretty young when we met. There was a gang of raiders, the cons, who had gotten hold of me. Things were looking pretty bad when all of a sudden this stranger shows up and rescues me. Your Vault Dweller. The Vault Dweller had many such adventures. I used to envy him that. I wanted a life of adventure, but I stayed here and took over as mayor when my dad died. Been running this place and building NCR ever since. Guess it turned out to be a pretty big life after all. The Elder will be happy to know that you are still alive. I'm sorry, but I need to know more. Get to it. I can't spend the day with you. I'll try to what be quick. What do you want to know? Okay. I'm looking for a Gek. Would you happen to have one? A Gek? Like the lizard? We got them all over. No, not the damn lizards. Never mind. I need to ask you something else. What do you want to know? Do you know where Vault 13 is? Vault 13? Why are you asking? I've heard stories and I'm curious. I'm the chosen one of my village. I'm a descendant of the Vault Dweller. Never mind, I was just curious. I'm the chosen one of my village. I'm a descendant of the Vault Dweller. You're serious, aren't you? If we're talking about the same person, he saved my life. <laughs> then vanished. When I start thinking it was only a dream, I go look at the statue out front. Statue? That's right. For scaring off the raiders. They kept clear of Shady Sands afterwards, and we got time to get ourselves set up. We made him a hero, even if we didn't believe a word about him coming from Vault 13. Right. My dad and Seth searched for years trying to find Vault 13. They died looking. Always said it was west of here. If somebody were to find Vault 13, that'd do us even better than 15. Huh. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Can I ask you some more? What do you want to know? I'm surprised that, um... <laughs> they name-dropped Seth? But not... 
the Vault Dweller's number one fucking companion from the beginning, Ian, right? How come there's no mention of Ian coming through and helping us, pulling out the fucking 10 millimeter and blasting scorpions? Shit. All right. What can you tell me about New Reno? New Reno? A damn bucket of Brahmin spit. Got every vice there is. We've got to be tough with them if we're going to unify this land. Congress has got to understand that. What about the bishops? Tell me about the Congress. I see. Can you tell me some more? What about the bishops? Well, I'll talk to a snake, but don't expect me to hug them. If you see any of them, you can tell them that, too. Rumor has it that the NCR is making a deal with the bishops. No point trying to keep secrets around here. We're negotiating with New Reno for membership in the NCR. They should have some pull with places like Vault City. Huh. They want pull with Vault City. For what reason? For Vault City's, um, exports and shit? I guess. What do you want to know? Okay. Is this the Shady Sands the Elder speaks of? Was Shady Sands. Most folks call it NCR now. New California Republic. Pretty impressive name, huh? Tell me about the NCR, please. Lord, I could talk about that forever, and I just don't have the time. Here's a holodisc on the NCR. We make them to spread the good word. Uh, thanks. What do you want to know? Do you want to barter? Holy shit, you do? Oh, you have nothing. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> okay, uh, that's it for now. I'll be going. Okay. Huh. Cool. Should we talk to Gunther again? Oh, Gunther is a young man. Okay. Here to report the outcome of Vault 15? No. Well, I'm sorry, but Madame President is very busy. Why don't you come back when the job is done? Okay. All right, well, let's look at the NCR History Holodisc. The label reads, History of NCR. Downloading data from disk. Let's check a look. NCR History Holodisc. Ooh, this is quite long. Okay. Oh, no, wait. The last page is... Un is, is intentionally left blank. Oh, I see. Okay. New California Republic Information Disc 1. We're here. Why not join us? There's a wonderful future ahead, and it could be yours with the New California Republic. But what is it? You want to know? How big is NCR? Founded 80 years ago, the NCR is now comprised of the states of Shady, Los Angeles, Maxon, Hub, and Dayglo. Approximately 700,000 citizens are pleased to call NCR home. What does NCR stand for? The New California Republic is dedicated to bringing peace, security, and justice to the people of the Great West. NCR's fine police forces constantly patrol and arrest any raiders, cannibals, slavers, and lawless mutants within the country. And the NCR army valiantly protects the borders against outside marauders. To ensure justice and liberty, all citizens have access to NCR's courts and the right to vote for a representative of their choice to sit in the Hall of Congress. In the words of President Andy, a safe people is a strong people. Who's in charge here? NCR may be a bit different from what you're used to. There are no chieftains, town bosses, kings, or dictators here. Our leaders are elected by the people. That's right. Every state has the right to send representatives to the Hall of Congress. These representatives select the president and vice president to head the council, and it is their advice which guides the president's decisions. For 10 terms now, President Dandy has been the unanimous choice of the council, who respect her wisdom and foresight. Sounds great. How do I join the NCR? All law-abiding and peaceful people, human or mutant, are eligible to become citizens of the NCR. 
To become a citizen, all you have to do is move to NCR and present your claim for immigration. After citizenship training and processing your application, you will be notified of your new status as a PC. Provisional citizen of PC. <laughs> From there, it is only a short step to full citizenship. Of course, NCR is not for everybody. Slavers, unreformed mutants, known raiders, and other undesirables need not apply. But what if my entire town wants to join? Depending on what where your town is located, NCR does accept petitions by villages, towns, bases, city-states, even minor kingdoms for annexation by NCR. Once the petition is accepted, NCR will grant your town territorial status. Once the needed police and army presence is established, and any banditry or other lawlessness has been dealt with, your village can apply for full statehood in the NCR. It's that simple. So remember, we're here. Why not join us? Prepared by the New California Relations Advisory Panel. And, and crap. <laughs> okay, yeah. NCR AP, publication number A77893B. This page was intentionally left blank. Wow. Incredible. All right. Well, sure. Let's see. What does our quest log specifically say? Retrieve parts slash gain access to Vault 15. Yeah. Interesting that it's slash. Is there another way we could retrieve the parts? Hmm. I guess so. Huh. So I wonder what this building is, you know? Does my pass let me go through this laser force field? I feel like it doesn't. Yeah. You can't. Hmm. Okay. Well, what can you do? Yeah, and this one's still popping off as well. There's no way you can, like, sneak around now. Yeah, because to get out there, there's not only a rail, but you would have to somehow get through the green hash. Alright, looks like we're heading back out then. To Vault 15. Let's do a quick save, just in case. Good, good, good. Man, I wonder where we will encounter more rangers at. I'm kind of looking forward to it. All right, let's head over here. Oh, look, the corpses have been cleaned up. Sure. Okay. I kind of wish that we could have asked about the situation with the slavers just outside, you know? I kind of wish that was an option. To, like, do a little confronting. Okay, let's haul on out of here. There's Vault 15. What else do we have unlocked on our map now? Hmm. Nothing much else. Starting to run out of shit, huh? Alright. That said, San Francisco is on there and we haven't been there. Right? And Redding. Well, we've, we've kind of been to Redding, but not really. Otherwise, all the others we have been to, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. There we go. Good. A cluster of dirty tents and shacks hug a wooded hillside. The people you see are lean and weary. Damn it, I hate when that happens. You see a squatter. You see a middle-aged man wearing worn clothing. Yeah, it extremely seems like these are just poor fucking, like, unfortunate people. Okay. Let's see. Do I have any juice on me? To juice up the car? No. Let's pull some out real quick and get it topped off. There we are, down here. 
What kind should we use? Probably the more plentiful one, right? Yeah, this stuff. The small energy cell. Let's get three. Yeah. Oops. Oh god. Do I even remember how to do it? There we go. Charge the car. Okay. Charge it again. Will it overkill? Will it use up more than I need? I wonder. Yeah, used up all of it. Yeah, let's... Let's take the car out and see. Yeah, I think it can overkill, for real. Okay, we need to be careful then. The squat, it's called. Okay, who are you? Are you important? Sorry, stranger. I don't have time to chat with you. All right, see ya. Wait a minute. Why won't you talk to me? We're a very private community here, and we don't want any trouble or interference from outside sources. Please just leave us be. Okay. Oh shit, should I have gone and talked to the person that they had in the jail cell? Hmm. I mean, we could run back. It's really close by. I mean, that said, what would I really get out of it, right? Yeah, okay. While we're here... Well, I do have 65 speech now, don't I? Fuck it, let's go back. Let's go back and see. Oh, please don't give me an encounter. Okay. Let's see. And we want downtown, right? Whoa. Okay. Look at that shit. Does it close off at certain times of day? Okay. Holy shit. Let's see over here. Good. Maybe they'll talk to me now that I have the quest. What are you gonna do? Scare me into talking? Hmm. Okay. Can't do anything there. Shit, I guess we gotta wait. Until morning. Yeah, that shut it down. That said, I guess we could have gone through anyway. Because of the location of the green. Alright, well, it's fine. It'll help uh, Cassidy get a little healed up over time as well. Alright, let's take the car, do a quick save, and head on back over. I bet we get an encounter this time, huh? Chosen. Oh! Chosen. Do you hear me? The village dies. All of our futures die, too. We have little left in both time and essence. Hurry. 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 I know we have quite the time limit, but I still feel kind of bad about it. Oh, look, mantises. Should we blast them or what? I don't think manti give you a lot of XP, though, do they? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna go... Oh, shit. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to kill him. Okay, maybe I can just beat him up real quick while they're coming over. Hell yeah. Yeah, if they all line up again near me, that'll be kind of perfect to blast. Right, good. Then over here. Two for one. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it was worth the ammo, but hey, we'll see. Okay, let's give it another go. Let's do some punching. Oh, shit. Okay. There we are. 
420 XP. Huh. I can't uh, reload it. Weird. Yeah, I can't right click on it. Hmm. Maybe if I swap it? Nope. Well, that's weird. Is it broken? Did it break? Oh, I critically missed and crippled my left arm. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Okay. Well, fuck me, huh? <laughs> Alright. Uh, I guess we need to try and get that fixed up. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Fucking mantises, huh? Fail to heal the arm. Okay. There we go, I, I did it. Wow, yeah, that was it. What is your health, Cassidy? Eh, you're good enough. Okay. Oh, I should give you some 223, huh? Because you are using it. Okay, that's fine. How about... You don't have any, right? No. I'll give you a stack. Or less than a stack. Alright. That's it for now. Let's swap our weapon. Good. And head on out. Cool. Alright. Alright, let's quick save again. Hmm. You see bed. You see a squatter. Sorry, stranger, I don't have time to chat with you. Bill the squatter. John the squatter. I've got a knife. Middle-aged woman wearing worn clothing. Please don't bother me. I'm really busy right now. Oh. Hi, I'm Rebecca. Can we talk privately, please? Sorry, not interested. What do you want to talk to me about? Sure. Where can we go for privacy? Why the need for privacy? Why the need for privacy? Whispering. You may think I'm crazy, but I get the feeling I'm being watched all the time. It's rather disturbing, and I'm a bit on edge because of it. All right, where can we go to talk? Thanks, we can go to my tent. We should be able to talk here. I have some questions for you first. What do you want to know? What's going on around here? Who's in charge around here? I'm looking for Vault 13. Do you know anything about it? Thanks, Rebecca. Let's talk about your problem now. What's going on around here? We call this place a squat because it was settled by the homeless of many cities. It's not much, but it's all we have. To the west is a city called the NCR. They've known about us for quite some time and never offered us any kind of help or hindrance. Now, they are suddenly claiming this area as their ancestral home and they want it back. More. They keep sending people here to try and talk us out of our home. But they don't understand that we have nowhere else to go. We don't have the skills necessary to survive on our own if we leave here. I see. What is here that they want so badly? What is here that they want? Well, there is a vault here. I think it's chamber 15 or number 15. They want to loot it for any of the old technology that may still be there. I knew there had to be something here other than the waste of flesh inhabitants. Jesus. Got it. That explains a lot. You've been very helpful. I need to ask some more questions, though. You've been very... Let's be nice. Who's in charge? That would be Zeke. 
He runs everything up here. You can find him in the building over there. Points northeast. Thank you. I need to ask you some more questions. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for Vault 13. Do you know anything about it? I'm sorry, I have no idea. I would ask about in NCR. They've taken a great interest in vaults lately. All right, I will. Huh, why vaults? Are they looking for a Gek too? Tell me about the vault. Well, we're not supposed to talk about it, but since I need your help, the vault is being repaired by Darian. He's our benefactor. When it's fully functional, we're all supposed to move in where we'll be safe from raiders, slavers, and such. So far, he has the food and water systems up, but that's about it. More. You know, it's kind of funny that they managed to get something that complex fixed, but not the lights. The damn place is lit by torches. Anyway, Darian doesn't want anyone to know what's going on with the vault. He's afraid that someone will take it away from us if they find out. So we're told to drive off anyone who shows up here, especially the NCR. I need to know more. What do you want to know? Tell me about Darian. There's not much to say, really. Darian keeps to himself and never leaves the vault. If he has anything to say, he says it through Zeke. I've only met him once, and he seemed like a nice guy. Nice guys finish last. I wonder what he's up to. <laughs> okay, I see. That's okay. You're very helpful. Let's be cordial again. That's okay. You're very helpful. What do you want to know? Thanks, Rebecca. Let's talk about your problem now. I have a daughter named Chrissy, who's a bit of a tomboy. She likes to run around, explore, and pretty much stick her nose into things. Chrissy's a good kid, though. She doesn't cause trouble, she's always home on time, and she's shown herself to be a very responsible young lady. I let her do as she pleases most of the time. Last week, Chrissy didn't come home. I've asked around and nobody's seen or heard from her. I tried to find her myself, but Zeke, he's sort of the mayor here, stopped me. He said it wasn't safe for me to go out looking on my own. He'd have some of his men do it. They couldn't find her, either, and said that maybe the slavers got her. I can't explain why, but I don't believe the slavers took her. I've an uneasy feeling that something else is going on. And then there's this feeling that I'm being followed. I've had it ever since I talked to Zeke about Chrissy. I need someone to help find my daughter. Will you help me, please? Yo, what if Zeke is behind it? What if Zeke and or um, Darian are behind it? Well, if it's an inside job. Sorry, not interested. I need to think about this. All right, Rebecca, I'll try to help you. If I help you, what's in it for me? All right, I'll try to help you. Thank you so much. I'll never be able to repay you for this. I'll wait here until you bring... Hey, there was someone outside listening to us. I saw their shadow on the tent wall. They just ran off that way. Points northeast. They must have heard everything. I'll try and stop them. They won't stop me from finding your daughter. Oh well, shit happens. Hmm. They won't stop me from finding your daughter. They went that way? Huh. Toward this other tent? Okay. Let's get a oh, look. There's green hash marks there. Okay. Interesting. So there's another secondary part to all this? Oh, I guess that leads into the vault proper. Wow, it's pretty easy to miss up there, huh? And then there's this building here. Another building. This almost looks like it leads into the vault. I can't remember how exactly you got into this vault originally. I feel like it's way up here, though. Right? I don't think it's this shack. But maybe. Yeah, maybe the shack is covering the entry point into the, like, side of the cliff face. Okay. Well, when next we come back, we have to explore around here and see what's up. Also, is this the same music from uh, Vault 15 when we were here years and years ago? I feel like it, it very well could be. This is definitely Fallout 1 music, 
right? Repurposed. But I don't know if, uh, if it's the exact same. Like I said, may well be. Anyway, until next time, please take care of each other. And it's my, my day. The army's on its way. Oh,